He played in the NBA with both Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan, won championships with both legends. John, welcome. Thanks for being here tonight. Hey, thank you, Scott. How, always, man, always. How much MJ did you see in Kobe? A hundred percent. I usually tell people if you were to make him soak detergent, Michael would be tied and Kobe would be tied plus. <laughs> You, you actually asked Kobe at one point if he was going to be the next Michael Jordan. Your story is interesting because you were with MJ before you were with Kobe, and then Kobe was just a young man when you were on the Lakers. What did he tell you when you asked him that? Uh, the greatest thing, he's 20 years old. I said, so you're going to be the next Michael Jordan? He goes, no, I'm going to be the first Kobe Bryant. And I said, what do you want? What do you want out of this game? So I want to be the greatest player that I've ever played this game. And I was like, wow, that's that's a trip. Like, you, <laughs> there's a guy named Michael Jordan right there that I keep fussing with everybody. He's not the greatest. I know he's the greatest, Scott. I just like saying it because everybody else says it, so I have to say something different. But I know Michael's the greatest. And Kobe was right, right along with him. I told Michael at 27 years old, and he was 27, I think he would have gave it to him. I literally told him that. Got punched in the stomach for it, but I told him. What about the two? John was so similar. Was it the competitiveness, the drive, something oh, more? Yeah, like uh, uh, Michael had, you know, you would see it. You know, they both had this unbelievable thought, uh, this mental health of not, nothing off court made a difference. Like what was going on in the stands didn't make a difference, who came into the game. Like they were just only about the game, right there about that game. And the outside stuff really didn't affect them. It's interesting, during the last dance, which I know you watched, we all watched during, during the pandemic, you really got a look at Michael Jordan, the competitor, during the practice sessions. And I'm wondering if you saw that same sort of thing in Kobe Bryant at practice, too. Uh, it was different. Phil ran practice a little different than he did uh, in Chicago. Uh, but, yeah, when we practiced, we didn't, we didn't really scrimmage a lot when I was in Los Angeles. They literally figured figured out how to take care of your body. But Kobe and I would play one-on-one -on -one every day after the game because he the, he just had to keep playing. I won, too, just to make <laughs> sure you know that. But but we played every day because he would be in the gym. He's a gym rat, and he would stay in that gym. You called Kobe the biggest Laker of all time, as big as Magic, bigger than Kareem, bigger than Jerry West. That's some serious praise. That's the truth, though. The, big, the, the ultimate Laker is Kobe Bryant. And, and I love those other guys. I mean, I, I love Jerry West. He's one of my favorite players. Magic, one of my good friends. And I have so much respect for, uh, for Cap. But Kobe Bryant encapsulated everything it was to be a Laker. He's like, you have to understand, from 2000 until now, like, they only know Kobe. They don't know the 80 Magic and the, and, and the 70s uh, or his late 60s and Jerry West and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. They don't know that era. Uh, that's ancient. What they know is Kobe Bryant and the electric energy that he bought. He bought him five championships in 10 years. That's a lot. Well, so given that, where do you think he fits in the conversation of the greatest ever? Well, he, he, uh, he would still say Michael Jordan is the greatest, and Michael Jordan would still say Oscar Robinson or Dr. J is the greatest. And, you know, you're always going to give your, your, uh, pay your, your respect to the one in front of you. Uh, but Time hasn't stopped yet. Uh, the best in each decade. And I got in trouble for saying that too, but the best in each decade. But when it comes down to it, Michael Jordan didn't miss any games. <laughs> and he was giving him the business. And I was a part of, I guess, uh, sharpening the steel by, by beating, beating on him and making him think about the Pistons all those times. You know, the true statement, that that does not kill you only makes you stronger. So let, let me ask you, as, as we, we're going to have a somber ceremony uh, tomorrow as Kobe gets in inducted, what's the thing you're going to remember most about Kobe Bryant, John? That he, uh, I asked him, he said, I do everything young, everything quick. Like, I said, what made you go if I want to go to pro and get married young? I do everything young. And in the 40 years that he had on the planet, he accomplished what maybe a million people could never. So the fact that, you know, he lived his life knowing uh, you got to live it to the fullest. Take advantage of it. We will leave it there. John Sally, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you very much, brother.
Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.